diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, I'm Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Alani Pututau, who is a defensive end edge rusher out of Adam State. How you doing, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Um, can you just uh, describe to our viewers a little bit about your overall career? Um, so I went to high school at a two-way school out there in, in uh, Utah. And I actually started, actually, I started my first two years at Silverado High School in Victorville, California. And I moved out to, to Utah. And then I went to Snow right out of Utah. and um, out of snow, got an offer out to Adam State. That's where I ended up. That's where I'm at right now. Cool. And you know, um, you you actually had a fantastic year last year. Um, you know, ended up with uh, 24 and a half tackles for loss, which is kind of like almost half the amount of tackles you had, which is really outstanding. Um, you had 13 and a half uh, sacks altogether. Um, all that's really awesome, man. Um, tell me a little bit about um, what, do you, what do you believe is the best part of your game? Uh, my speed is definitely uh, the strength of my game. Uh, my hands are violent. Um, but I would have to say that the biggest focus or the biggest strength that I do have is the speed. Um, getting past tackles is my biggest strength. Cool. I mean, I would – Probably uh, definitely 100% agree with that word, speed. Um, you know, when I was looking at some of your highlight film, it almost looked as if the other guys are just in slow motion. I mean, you kind of just take one step and you're gone. And I, I watched one where this one uh, offensive tackle was like almost five, 10 yards away from you and you've already made the play. Um, but um, so I was going to ask you, Alani, um, what have you been working on this off, this particular off season in order to better your game? Really, I've just been working on mobility, um, speed. Um, a lot of weight rooms have not been open, and if they have been, it's been inconsistent just because you have to set appointments and things like that. Um, but really at home, all I've been doing really is trying to be more mobile, um, more flexible, just working a lot of things that I can work, um, working my hands. This home workouts really. This quarantine has been uh, a different story, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me, man. Everything's different this go around. But I mean, we're trying to, you know, make the best of it. Um, so, um, tell me a little bit about you. Uh, you know, you. Um, well, let, let's go back a little bit. Um, you know, you 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 began your career at at, at Snow College. Um, and then eventually you, you had made your way to Adam State. Um, how, how, just tell me a little bit about that transition, you know, about you transferring from Snow to Adam State. Like, how did that work for you? Describe that for me. Uh, so my first year at Snow, uh, Coach Britt Mung was the head coach there. Um, and he ended up leaving. He went to a couple schools and then uh, ended up at Adam State. And then my second year came around, he gave me an offer. Um, and I checked out the school. It was cool. Uh, but really, at the end of that season, that was the offer that I had. And that's where I, where I had to be. So I ended up at, at Adams State. And it's been probably one of the greatest decisions of my life. It's been good. Well, and, you know, um, also, uh, you know, looking back into your history, I mean, you, uh, you did have some experience playing basketball in high school. Um, talk to me maybe a little bit about that experience and how that has helped you on the football field. Yeah, so I played basketball at South River High School, a two-way school out in Monroe, Utah. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not too much of a baller, but I could jump. So they, they put me on the team. Um, and I didn't know that they could ball like that. Uh, a little two-way school going up to um, other places in Salt Lake and working on 5A, 5A school teams, like, it just taught me that it don't matter where you are. If you, if you can ball, you can do it. 
Um, we were really the underdogs at all these tournaments that we did go to, but it really taught me that it don't matter where you're at. It don't matter where you're from. Like, if you can ball, you can ball. Right. And, I mean, obviously that's kind of what we're trying to, uh, you know, really uh, show is, you know, guys that are from smaller schools that are diamonds in the rough like yourself um, who have actually had stellar uh, collegiate careers uh, so that hopefully uh, the professionals will take a, a, a good, deep look at you uh, as a prospect. Um, I was going to ask you, Alani, to um, really just tell me a little bit, something about yourself that's maybe not football. You know, what, what do people really need to know about you as a person? Um, just what, whatever you got for me. Just uh, tell me a little bit about you. Okay. Well, uh, I'm a father. I'm a husband. Um, I'm a return missionary. I started my mission in um, Kansas, the Wichita, Kansas mission. Shout out to them. Um, and really, I'm, I'm all about my faith. I'm all about God. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, I do a little singing. You know, I do a little humming. Uh, I'm into music. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of the biggest thing about me, I guess. Is uh, my family, my faith, and a little bit of my hobby, my hobbies. Yeah, and I, I was going to ask you a little bit about your heritage. So, um, right. Let's talk about that. I mean, you're Tongan. Um, right. Obviously, um, you know, there are a lot of uh, people from that culture of the Polynesian culture that have really made a huge impact on really just sports as a whole. Um, tell me a little bit about how that, what that really means to you. Um, being Tongan is probably uh, one of the most, the biggest things that I'm, that I have the most pride in. Um, I wouldn't want to be anything else, to be completely honest. Uh, we're still, we're still a monarch. That makes me feel like, you know, uh, we got a king and queen. Um, of course, I'm here in the main, or in the mainland in America, looking for a good opportunity. Um, but it just, that's in my heart. Um, the Tonga is, is on the map right now. But we still, there's not in, any, you know, anyone running us. Right. I mean, I understand it's kind of one of those things you, you're just, uh, it, it's just a sense of pride. So I, right, totally, right. I totally understand. Uh, sometimes there's just no word for no it. No words, yeah. Um, Hey, man, uh, as we uh, start to wrap up a little bit, I want to know why you play football. Uh, I play football because I love the game. Um, I love to compete. I love the violence of it. Um, I know some people would not like to hear that, but the honest truth is if you can get away with knocking somebody down and it's all legal, that's, that's good for me. I, I, I like that. That's a so <laughs> yeah, for me. No, I mean, I, I totally uh, feel you there because I feel like, uh, you know, it's the truth, man. It's a violent sport. You know, uh, people get injured, people get cut, people get bloody. You know, it happens. I mean, it's part of the game. So, uh, I mean, obviously, you don't want anyone getting, like, uh, super injured, like, very severely. Yeah, definitely. But, but somebody's I mean, always after you. And I'm you not, know, I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, bumps and bruises are going to happen, but I get what you're right. saying about about that. It and I I feel like most of the people that play um, football would absolutely agree with you. Uh, and final thing I was going to uh, ask of you is just giving your final pitch to a professional team as to you know why they should uh, draft you, sign you, and you know give you that huge check. Um, well, you guys seen the film? Uh, I'm a worker. Um, all I've really been doing is working. Uh, uh, you see the speed. I'm speedy. I'm going to get off the edge. I'm going to get there. Um, just put me in a position where I can win, and I'm gonna definitely going to win. Um, but, yeah, I'm not a problem in, in the in the locker room. Uh, I definitely want that sense of family in the locker room. And uh, I stand by example. That's for sure. Cool. Well, um Alani, this has been cool just kind of talking to you. I mean, realizing that you're actually in Hawaii and I'm over here on the East Coast. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> we're able to do this through the 
you know, magic of technology. So um, I do think it's awesome to uh, really talk about you and, you know, what you bring to the table um, and learn more about you as a person as well as an athlete. Um, again, this is Alani Pututau, who is an edge rusher out of Adam State. He's definitely a guy to uh, keep an eye on. Uh, Alani, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.